she was walking right there. And so I said, get the heck out of here. A one, two, three, four. Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. My name is Army or Anna Marie, whichever one you please. And today I'm going to talk about stuff that's going on in the garden. And I am taking advantage of the fact that um, I don't have to pretty much do anything with regards to watering and taking care of the plants, except for, of course, pulling out weeds and I'm not going to be able to plant anything in this weather because it's so hot. And uh, I don't think that my plants are going to survive because, number one, they're in dormancy. Number two, they're not going to suck any water from their roots because they are in dormancy. So I got to just lay low for now <laughs> with the succulents. And so what I did was instead of... Um, trying to replant um, a whole bunch of stuff. I just replanted the ones that um, I thought was going to be um, surviving under the shade. And the shady area doesn't really get that much sun, so I'm not so worried about it. And some of my Echeverias that I really cherish are going to be under the shade because I'm not even going to mess with the anything I, the the sun the rain or the cold weather or anything like that so it's going to be underneath the tree which is i know that um trees are you're not supposed to plant any um succulents under the tree but this tree doesn't shed any leaves because it is a palm tree so it does give the shade but it doesn't um you know it, every now and then it will shed but it's not so much that's just going to go out of control and um just going to be detrimental to the health of my succulents so it's it's getting a little bit of sun uh it is the the echeverias that i'm going to put under there are the lighter colored ones the ones that are you know very sensitive to the sun the, the direct sun and it just it does need shade and right now it's out there in the backyard and it is under the shade cloth but in the front yard i can't do too much you know with regards to shade cloth because it is in the front yard i mean there's only so much that you can do in the front yard without having to compromise you know the aesthetic look of it so um, I plan to what I what I did do is take the ones that I, I'm going to experiment. I have three of the ghostly lucinas. Um, I have two huge ones or one big one. So I think I'm going to sacrifice the little one um, because it is mature, but it is in a very small a terracotta pot. So I'm going to re replant it in ground to see how it does, to see how it does under the shade. Because that area right there, the area right there where I put it is um, just dirt and um, the sad overgrown sedums. But I'll show you. However, while I was doing that, okay, I have nothing against people who own cats. I have nothing against cats. Cats are just, they just do anything that's instinctive to them. However, what I do not like are cats in my yard. Um, I've had this problem with my neighbor in the past. Um, poop and, you know, just coming to my yard and pooping and peeing. And um, the, the cat smell is just horrendous. Um, this one cat, it's a Persian cat. It is it has been roaming the the neighborhood especially the street and i've seen her poop in somebody else's yard my yard and i was just sitting there minding my own business and all of a sudden at the corner of my eye i see this cat just walking through i mean just blatantly blatantly in front of my face just about to go and dig up some parts of my yard and poop there and she start walking over here 
And then I looked at because I felt like this there was this movement. And oh my gosh, there she was. She was she was walking right there. And so I said, get the heck out of here. So she ran and she ran over here. Ran and she jumped right there. See that? See where there's a folded area right there? She jumped right in there. Of netting so that thinking that, you know, it would deter the cats to come in because, you know, they'll have to really exert some effort to jump over the netting. Apparently, this cat's favorite place to poop, his toilet or her toilet, is in my yard. So, lo and behold, just walking through and didn't even care that I was there. I am allergic to cats, number one. And also, I saw in one of the articles online that said that if you touch it and um, you touch your face or you touch your eyes or something, you know, you can get some kind of disease. Uh, I don't know exactly what. I, I mean, I read about it. I just can't remember the disease that, um, that you get if you touch your face with, um, you know, you touch cat. I mean, it, it, it could transfer anywhere because I see it. I smell it. This, the smell is just horrible. Oh, also, um, what I was doing with the, the pet cemetery over there, I'll explain to you on the video. Uh, I kind of cleaned it up because it was just like scraggly, you know, everything's dry. All the leaves are falling and especially Ioniums. My lovely Ioniums just like suffering um, in dormancy. It's just dropping a lot of, you know, dry leaves. I try to, I know that in the summertime you're not supposed to water, but uh, because it's been so hot. So at night I would just give it a little bit, a, a little drink. So just so they have they have source to suck up the water in the soil not drenching them not for one we can't do it here in california because we are in a drought and we're not supposed to use a lot of water and thank god i have succulents that doesn't require a bunch of water so i can't wait for the for the fall to be able to uh, plant some more some more succulents where there's like spot like bald spots in my yard like sparse um, because they I just I just planted them last fall it was they were doing great in the spring but you know they're trying to they're still trying to um, acclimate and they're still trying to establish their roots in the ground uh, so some of them have been doing great because they're not being like bombarded by the heat, the, the, the strong heat, but some of them are just um, really having a hard time. I just wanted to show you what's going on right here. There was this plant right here was taking over, so I had to remove a whole bunch from there. And um, if anybody wants some, I'm gonna put it, or I think it's already on my Etsy. If anybody wants some some of that it's already on Etsy and um, I just removed some of it because it was taking over like some of those plants over there this is Echeveria glauca which I also need to behead all these because it's getting leggy this is not getting too much sun as you can see it's all shady and this big one also uh, that's called the white sprite I believe um, that one had like a really long 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 stem that I had to remove because it was bending so this area right here was just full of um, these leggy ones um, the sedum and it was just bare so I just tilled the soil put some more uh, Fasturating soil there and then I put um, worm casting sprayed it all with neem oil to get all of the mealybugs whatever is left over to get these guys healthy this one is the um, what is this one uh, gosh I forgot the name of it but it's that one 
it's that one so that one's getting scraggly too it's getting so it's stretching so i took the i beheaded and put those two which looks so cute and then that one over there i took from the backyard and put it there then i have the ioniums and dormancy right now so they're not fluffy and they're not um bushy but that one the fichenkoi that's going to run um just fill everything up so that's gonna have to um have some i put some space in between that one and the the ghostly lucina this is not it's not pretty it's so ghosty it's like it's got so much farina on it uh then i just filled it with the lava rocks the red lava rocks and whatever is this is the uh i forget what this is but those are going to spread and then you know, as they spread, I take the lava rocks and I move them out of the way so that they can have, you know, their space. Then I took this one uh, that's like that, that one and this one and put it there because these are also, this area is also very sparse. And then I put some more uh, Echeveria blue rose um, that I took from the side so that it fills it in a little bit and then i clean all this up this is where chica is buried and then i'm going to do another uh mini garden right there for her because this is dd and dd and mango are in here um ran out of space for chica but then chica's going to get her own little garden right there her own little succulent garden right there yeah so looking at it from up here you know, just pulling out all the weeds is so many, so much. My work is never done. Oh, and I added some more of these purple ones for my brother. Remember these? Um, getting a little bit more um, in the back in the little uh, planter that I put them in. I thought they were going to die because they died from the cold weather, but then they came back up. So I'm thinking that they're probably annuals more than they are perennials well they're, they are perennials but they're also annuals so uh, the next the next project is probably going to be here because this needs to be i just need to find um this is why this is so empty and sparse is because during the winter time when it's really raining this area right here gets so much water so I need to put something there that's going to be okay with water and that's not going to have such a problem, like maybe these ones. I'm just gonna move, move my project all the way around. That area right there is really thin, I'll show you. These are just my plants because it's summer right now and there's really nothing to do. Look at how they died. They just died from the heat. Um, note to self do not plant anything that doesn't have any roots in the fall but look at this one it's not cute that's gonna be a flower then let's see look at the weed this thing right there what the heck never ends okay so this area right here see how sparse that is that's going to be my project for the full because what's going to happen is like all the water is going to rush and run down here, which means this area right here is going to get um, most of the water like during the rainy season and everything. So pretty much my work is cut out for me. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty when you look at it from here. Isn't that so cool? So there. That's my rant for today. Thank you for listening, and I love you guys.